If you were to describe uh, what Google Glass is and what Google Glass does to uh, a totally sort of uh, technology agnostic person, how would you do that? Well, I, I think Larry Page says it back, said it best. Uh, Google Glass reduces the time between intention and action. It reduces the time between when you first want to do something and when you can actually execute it. For example, career batting average of Mickey Mantle. So in that case, I had the intention of actually doing a, a web search, and I could do it that quickly and get an answer back saying 0.298. Right? Wow. So between my first thought of I want to know this information and having it from my eyeballs, it's literally seconds. Yeah. And um, that's what Glass can do that other devices can't. Same thing with, um, you know, as I get, say, uh, uh, SMSs in. You know, this morning you sent me an SMS from the lobby saying you you were there, and so I could you know I, I heard Bing, um, and I looked up. It turns on the display, shows me your SMS, and then I could just tap and reply and say, okay, I'll be down in a few seconds. Mm -hmm. And between the getting the the Bing that tells me there's a notification, the intention of looking at the notification, it's just a set, you know, split second. It's looking up. Suddenly I can see. What the notification was, you know, I could have ignored it. I could have been busy, but you know, I chose to look at it and then wanting to reply. All that interaction was literally seconds, um, and that is something you can't do on any other device right now.